pandemic that's running rampant today, trying to erase people in history. It's a movement where a person or a group becomes the judge, the jury, and the prosecutor without a fair trial. But what is the spiritual threat of cancel culture? Here's a clue. It has to do with one of God's greatest tools to overcome the enemy. It's in Revelation 12, 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb, by the word of their testimony, and that they loved their, did not love their lives unto death. Demons know they can't touch the blood of the lamb. So they're going after the word of your testimony, which is your history, which is your history. We are watching demons of anger, revenge, hatred, bitterness, and theft, warring to steal your testimony as a country and as individuals. So I wanna, I wanna share a personal story with you because I remember going to a doctor who could look at my blood cells and tell me about my past. Fascinating. He said, I see that you were bit by a tick and you contracted Lyme disease when you were 12. And at 18, you had a cortisone shot. <laughs> well, that, that blew my mind because it was all true. And then he said, your cells tell me your history. It can't be canceled, but it can be healed. Did you catch that? Your history can't be canceled but it can be healed. When I tell my testimony, I've even heard people say, you should not confess that over yourself. It's a little like cancel culture. It's like that thought process. I quickly tell them that I am an overcomer whose testimony is important. I cannot cancel history written in my cells, nor do I want to. It's who I am. And God will take my past and my medical history and use it for his good, right? So God tells us to comfort those where we have been comforted. But if we erase the uncomfortable past, what's left? Remember, Paul's past followed him everywhere. When he landed on the island of Malta, the natives of the land immediately shouted out that he was a murderer because he was bit by a snake. That was Paul's old mantle. The demons knew him as a murderer but it wasn't his new name. And when he shook off that snake, in Acts 28 verses four through six, they called him a God. When the Israelites were trapped at the Red Sea, they looked over their shoulders and they saw their past, that past of slavery chasing them. But God put the angel of the Lord behind them in Exodus 14, 19, to shed darkness on their past and light on their future walk. The enemy knows you by your past because it's the only resource demons can access. Holy Spirit alone knows your future. I want you to beware of the Lot's wife syndrome. You know what that is, right? It's looking over your shoulder and that's when it causes you to fall apart like a pillar of salt. Cancel culture's battle cry is fueled by demons seeking atonement for the past by either erasing it or requiring a payment for it. I heard a client once tell me, don't you think my culture is owed something for the past traumas we endured? No, <laughs> I told her no, that's a debt mentality and it's rooted in bitterness that keeps you wandering in the wilderness of your past. So I don't want you to fall prey to the demons behind this cancel culture. Our past is on a cross, forgiveness and grace that's freely given to us by Jesus Christ. If your testimony though is still full of torment, it's time for you to connect with us and to rise up as an overcomer. Remember, we're only one intake form away. I pray this helped you. God bless.